So it tells there are six mental, sim- six mental symptoms and six physical symptoms of someone who's on the level of nishta. One is laya, L-A-Y-A. If someone is still in an archanivity, which means he's really ineligible for Ravana Gosari in the true sense, if someone is still on the level of an archanivity, then he's subjected to laya. I don't mean lying. Uh, it's, yeah, it's lying in one sense. L Y I N G. L A Y A means the tendency to sleep or to lie down. L A Y A. And this is when one is chanting in kirtan, he may be in a kirtan and there's some tendency to sleep. He goes to Mangalarti and falls asleep standing up. <laughs> Have you ever seen? Or have you ever been that person? <laughs> I'm not asking for any confession. I go to Mangalarti and uh, there's kirtans going on and you're standing there nodding out. The tendency to fall asleep is more so when one chants japa. He sits down to chant japa. <laughs> Probably you're sleeping. No, I'm not! <laughs> That's usually the response. If someone tells us you're sleeping, I'm not! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Prabhu, you're sleeping again. I'm not sleeping. Shut up. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. <laughs> but the tendency to sleep is more so when one is chanting japa. Now, when one is reading Shastra, really a tendency. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Hopefully we get at least, you know, beyond, hopefully we get beyond that. And then, at the time of meditation, at the time of meditation, which is smaran, shavanam kirtanam smaran, raganuga sarana bhakti means smarna yoga, smarna bhakti, it's called manodharma. Manodharma means the religion of the mind, mental practice. Primarily in raganuga bhakti, one is doing smaran, meditation. And there, if one is at the level of, of anishtita, he's not anishtha, the tendency to sleep will be the greatest. Liar. He'll really sleep. <laughs> well, let me meditate on this fast one. O oh, Krishna, Mantavam Shivat, the full moon is rising in the sky, and this tinging this eastern horizon with a reddish color, looks so beautiful, like the face of a goddess of fortune or whatever. And then, Krishna looking so beautiful, standing in threefold form under the Kadamba tree. And there's some rays of moon, moonshine, some rays of the moon coming through the, filtering through the branches, and they're illuminating his, his part of his face. And the bump, the, the Murali is pressed to his lips ever so gently, and his fingers are moving so deftly on the flute. And he's playing such a beautiful raga on the flute. And he's calling the gopis to the bus. <laughs> you, try, you meditate and you're capturing some the scene of Krishna and Vamshivat, just a little snippet or a little portion of the Rasa Lila. And then before you can, within two minutes or three minutes, you fall asleep. Then you, then you do Shravanam, Kirtanam, Snoranam. <laughs> <laughs> no smarana? You're supposed to do smaranam. Shravanam, kirtanam, smaranam. Raganuga bhakti means smaranam. But you do shravanam, kirtanam, snoranam. Meditate as Leela. This is called laya. This is one of the eleven symptoms to prove or indicate that I am at the level of anartha 
my heart and mind are extremely contaminated with so much tamaglam that I don't have enough foundation of determination or sattva to actually enter into the practice of smaran, which begins at the level of nishta. All of these ideas are conveyed by Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur in Madhurya Kadandini. It's a, uh, you can say, it's a sledgehammer. <coughs> Madhurya Kadambani is a sledgehammer for imaginative ecstasy. And the sledgehammer, there's a big stick, a big stick, like they put the railroad ties, you know, they put these nails to hold down the railroad tracks. There's a big heavy iron, like a hammer, you know, hammer, but it weighs about five kilos. And, and some big long stick, a big heavy iron, tong, tong. So this Madhuri Kadamani book is like sledgehammer. <laughs> we have some, we imagine, I'm really advanced. I've been in ISKCON sleeping for 25 years. I mean, chatting for 25 years. <laughs> Do you know that? 20, I was initiated in 1979 by so and so, so and so. 79 and that's 11 and how many, how many years? 30 years. 30. I've been 30 years in ISKCON. But still, I'm at the level of an alternative. It can be like that. I, but dishonesty will not allow us to see the truth. Imagination will not allow us to admit our deficiency or lack of advancement. <coughs> 